Hi friends, so today I'm gonna show you how to use IC compiler. So first of all, make sure your Xming is running. Go to the PuTTY. My IC compiler is hosted on this server, so I'm just logging into this server with my credentials. Now, before using the IC compiler, make sure you have your Verilog code synthesized using Design Vision and have a netlist file and thus sdc file that is a synapses design constraint file these two files are generated as the output of a design compiler so this is one such design available with me i have synthesized my mrca.v this is my verilog file i have synthesized this using design vision and this is the my constraint file as the output and this is my netlist file so I'll be using both of these two files along with the few other technology files so as to generate a layout for this particular design using the standard cells. So the command to launch IC compiler is ICC shell GUI. When you launch this command your IC compiler will be popped up backend. So here is our IC compiler. So before importing those Verilogs and Synopsys design constraint, we have to set up the environment using the different technology files. First of all, setup, application setup. Here I'll be browsing the database file, which I have used in my DC compiler as well for the synthesis part. So here, IC compiler models these are the database files i have used as well in my design vision or dc compiler so i'll be using the same database file in the ic compiler as well So I have my database file been set up. Thereafter, I need to create a library. I usually create a library in the design I am generating the layout for, which is MRCA1. The name of the library you can keep whatever you want. Technology file is again available to you using 19 nanometer technology file. So this is the technology file I am using input file references means the standard cells where they are located and the compiler will look into that folder for use those standard cells so they are available sorry yeah. I choose them to make sure you take this open library check block check block yep that's it after this, I need to set up the TLU files. All these files will be available to you through Blackboard. You can download them. For the max, I'll be using CMAX. For the minimum TLU plus file. I'll be using CMIN. mapping file is this tech to itf dot map now after this uh, we have set up all those environment variables now we need to import our verilog code or the synthesized verilog make sure you are browsing your synthesized verilog which is the output of a dc compiler so this is my synthesis verilog file i have put it into it it will take a while to load that verilog file
so yeah this is that red log file it has been loaded thereafter i need to upload my design constraint file that is sdc file as well so read sdc i'll be browsing the design constraint file for my present design okay now we proceed to the backend steps the first step in the backend is floor planning first we need to create a four floor plan we are using a core utilization 70% and uh, for the pads I am using 10 micrometer as the distance so this is my core area and these are all my standard cells after that I need to create a VDD and VSS power rails next step is create rings under pre-route only I am creating a rectangular rings for VDD and VSS my offset is 1 micron between the two rails and the width for each rail is 3 micrometer and I will be using metal 5 and metal 6 for VDD and VSS ok now you can see that these power rails this is VSS this is VDD here this is VDD this is VSS they have been generated step after creating is we need to create a power straps For both VDD as well as VSS metal 5 I'll keep it width as 0.16 40 power rails with a distance between them 2 microns okay so it has been created now your standard cells will be placed into these power rails so for that placement core placement and optimization okay it will take a while so what it will do it will put all your standard cells into those now they have been routed and have been put into those power rails next step is pre-route standard cells go into the routing option uncheck keep floating rail segment and check mark this extend block to boundaries and generate pins and flee, fill empty rows again pre-route pre-route instances you need to do nothing just apply or ok the last step in the pre-route is we need to give the routing connections the standard cells has been placed but they have not been connected with each other so go to route core routing optimization ok before that there are certain other commands as well if your design include clock you can go to the other window and the, uh, the command is clock opt hyphen fix hold all clocks and report clock tree which will like show up the uh, clock tree that has been synthesized in your design and uh, report let you know that in your layout what will be your timing details or what will be your delay 
then you can switch back to the other window and the final step is routing those standard cells or interconnecting those medium I keep the option as such okay it will again take a while so this is like your final layout which enhouses all those standard cells and they are being interconnected with each other if you zoom it out you can look into these are all my various standard cells and they have been interconnected with each other now you can export the Verilog file which includes all those interconnections parasitics whatever the thing is I write it as mrc underscore icc dot v okay and you can export your parasitics as well SPEF which is nothing but just include all those parasit details and you can import these files further into prime time and other tools for the static time analysis or the power consumption for your chip okay so I have written both of these files you can also generate a stream or write a stream in a GDS2 format and eventually can order to any of the foundry so as to design this layout on any of the wafer so these are the only thing that we have required thereafter you can save your cell and exit now you can see that these are my parasitic files and this is my Verilog file at the output of the IC compiler. I can use that file again into the design compiler and which will uh, get those power timing and the area details which are quite exact because I am generating this from a layout level now. So I have my script with me synthesize.tcl here I have already put up my this Verilog file that I have extracted out of that IC compiler as well as the name of the top module so this is the clock pin this is actually a critical path I have uh, determined this that my critical path is from input B0 to the output sum 15 using uh, during my synthesis part so this is how and here notice that I am using the same database file that I have used in my IC compiler so rest all the parameters are been set up I need to run this script the command is dc underscore shell hyphen t hyphen f synthesize dot tcl so now you can get all those power which is 2.70 nanosecond and area report sorry the name is cell you may find that these figures are different from the figures that you have extracted when you synthesize your design in the design compiler because here that time your Verilog file is your own Verilog file which is written in a, any of the behavioral fashion or whatever the way you like but here my input Verilog file is the Verilog file that I, have, that I have extracted out of that IC compiler so the results here depends depicts your post layout simulation so this is all about the IC compiler is 
there is also possibility to do the do this all step with the help of a script uh, maybe we are sharing the script as well for this in the very near future thank you thanks for watching